He's spun a qualifying time of 3.09 on the marker and uh, should be feeling quite comfortable heading into this. And got Schoenmaker from the Netherlands, 3.05 qualification, had the gold in London in the 50 metre breast. So Liu Jin, Schoenmaker, Sanchez Martinez, and Povasil from Czech in lane six. Povasil, a bronze medalist in Beijing in this event, and Sanchez Martinez, the defending Paralympic champion. He won four medals in London. So he'll swim in four. He's away to a very smooth start. In fact, looking fantastic. He's 200 metres freestyle, so full lengths of the Olympic pool. And early on, it's actually Povasil who's making a, a challenge. He's gotten out very strongly in the first 50, but relatively even across the pool. It's just Liu, Liu Liang Tao who's in lane two, a little off the pace at this stage, but it will be quite even coming into the first turn. Well, you, you, you wonder about Sanchez Martinez of uh, Mexico. I mean, he is the defending champion, but he was swimming well under three minutes to uh, win gold. He missed out on a medal in the 100 free, which is another event in which he was defending uh, champion and swimming nowhere near the times that he has posted in years gone by. And in fact, at the World Championships last year, I think he only managed to finish fifth overall in, uh, in this event. But he's somebody who's got the ability to go so much faster, but I just fear he is not swimming anywhere near his very best at the moment. So Sanchez Martinez needs something to change, but Schoenmacher of the Netherlands is the, the swimmer currently who is leading the swimmers out. But Sanchez Martinez is still second overall. Povisil is uh, pulling himself along nicely, just uh, a good cup and gets himself through the water with relative ease. Povisil touches third, or will touch third. Just over three seconds behind the leader, Schoenmacher of the Netherlands early on. Jin Ji Peng just trying to hold on and will be wanting to post a stronger back end. But off, of course, will be wanting to post a, an even stronger final after hopefully qualifying. Yes, Schoenmaker, in case you were wondering, that 100 split was 128.91, so touched in first. It was only about a second quicker than Sanchez Martinez. So we can see them head down. They'll touch in at the 150 mark. It will still be Schoenmaker in front at the 150 split. But Sanchez Martinez, despite not performing at his absolute best at the moment, is easily staying in touch. In fact, looking very comfortable. And we can expect him to have a strong back end as well. But Schoenmaker has seemed to find a lovely tempo with his stroke. His strokes are long and relaxed. He's got plenty of clear water in front of him, so nothing troubling him at this stage. Sanchez Martinez, second position, and Povasil is in third, although not by much. There's a little bit of a fight on here because Jinja Peng is staying with him. He may just be able to spy him across the lane rope when he comes up for air on his right-hand side, just to get an idea of where he's sitting in the overall standings of heat one, but easily Schoenmaker from the Netherlands will touch in at the 200 split, well in front, comfortably in front. In fact, Sanchez Martinez, though, staying in touch. He's not letting it get away. So there we have it, Schoenmaker. Sanchez Martinez touching in second. And it'll be third in that heat to Povasil, so 3.13. So the time in the end was 3.05.13 from Schoenmaker. Easily coming in. The big cheer you can hear from the crowd is for Liu Lantau. Fantastic support. We'll touch in at 3.42.10. So the final standings. That man on your screen, Schoenmaker, the 305.13. So only a fraction outside the time he posted in qualifying. World record for this event is 255.81 set eight years ago in Beijing. So you can see there 
through the replay, Schoenmaker never really looking troubled, particularly towards the end there. He wasn't building his lead in the final 50, but he was just doing enough to make sure he relaxed and even, dare I say, it enjoyed himself in that final 50.